A pole star or polar star is a star, preferably bright, closely aligned to the axis of rotation of an astronomical object. Currently, Earth's pole stars are Polaris Alpha Ursae Minoris, a magnitude 2 star aligned approximately with its northern axis, and a preeminent star in celestial navigation, and Polaris Australis Sigma Octantis, a much dimmer star. A couple thousand years ago, Kachab and Firkid were twin northern pole stars, though neither was as close to the pole as Polaris is now. History In classical antiquity, Beta Ursae Minoris was closer to the celestial North Pole than Alpha Ursae Minoris. While there was no naked eye star close to the pole, the midpoint between Alpha and Beta Ursae Minoris was reasonably close to the pole, and it appears that the entire constellation of Ursa Minor, in antiquity known as Sinoshura, Greek Kynosura, Dog's tail was used as indicating the northern direction for the purposes of navigation by the Phoenicians. The ancient name of Ursa Minor, anglicized as Sinosure, has since itself become a term for guiding principle after the constellation's use in navigation. Alpha Ursae Minoris Polaris was described as Aephanes, always visible, by Stobius in the 5th century, when it was still removed from the celestial pole by about 8 degrees. It was known as Scip Steora, ship star, in 10th century Anglo-Saxon England, reflecting its use in navigation. In the Hindu Puranas, it is personified under the name Dhruva, immovable, fixed. In the medieval period, Polaris was also known as Stella Maris, star of the sea, from its use for navigation at sea, as in E.G. Bartholomew's Anglicus D. 1272, in the translation of John Trevisa 1397. By the place of this stair place and stades and boundis of the other stairs and of circles of heaven been known, therefore astronomers behold Musta this stair. Then this stir is described of the most short circle, for he is fair from the place that we been in, he hideth the hugeness of his quantite for unmevableness of his place, and he doth surfefe men most certainly, that behold and take heed thereof and therefore he is called Stella Maris, the stair of the sea, for he letteth in the sea men that sile and have shipman's craft." Polaris was associated with Marian veneration from an early time, Our Lady, Star of the Sea being a title of the Blessed Virgin. This tradition goes back to a misreading of St. Jerome's translation of Eusebius Onomasticon, De Nominibus Hebraicus written c. a. 390. Jerome gave still a maris, drop of the sea, as a false Hebrew etymology of the name Maria. This Stella Maris was later misread as Stella Maris. The misreading is also found in the manuscript tradition of Isidore's Etymologia, 7th century. It probably arises in the Carolingian era. A late 9th century manuscript of Jerome's text still has Stella, not Stella, but Pascagius Radbertus, also writing in the 9th century, makes an explicit reference to the star of the sea", metaphor, saying that Mary is the «star of the sea» to be followed on the way to Christ, «lest we capsize amid the storm-tossed waves of the sea». 
The name Stella Polaris was coined in the Renaissance, even though at that time it was well recognized that it was several degrees away from the celestial pole. Gemma Frisius in the year 1547 determined this distance as 3 degrees 7. An explicit identification of Mary as Stella Maris with the North Star Polaris becomes evident in the title Sinosura Seu Mariana Stella Polaris, i.e., Sinosure, or the Marian Polar Star. A collection of Marian poetry published by Nicolaus Licensis in 1655. Topic: Procession of the Equinoxes. As of October 2012, Polaris had the declination plus 89 degrees 19 minutes 8 seconds. At epoch J2000, it was plus 89 degrees 15 minutes 51.2 seconds. Therefore, it always appears due north in the sky to a precision better than one degree, and the angle it makes with respect to the true horizon after correcting for refraction and other factors is equal to the latitude of the observer to better than one degree. The celestial pole will be nearest Polaris in 2100 and will thereafter become more distant, due to the precession of the equinoxes as well as the star's proper motions. The role of North Star has passed and will pass from one star to another in the remote past and in the remote future. In 3000 BC, the faint star Thuban in the constellation Draco was the North Star, aligning within 0.1 degrees distance from the celestial pole, the closest of any of the visible pole stars. However, at magnitude 3.67 fourth magnitude, it is only one fifth as bright as Polaris, and today it is invisible in light polluted urban skies. During the first millennium BC, Beta Ursae Minoris, Kachab, was the bright star closest to the celestial pole, but it was never close enough to be taken as marking the pole, and the Greek navigator Pythias in ca. 320 BC described the celestial pole as devoid of stars. In the Roman era, the celestial pole was about equally distant between Polaris and Kachab. The precession of the equinoxes takes about 25,770 years to complete a cycle. Polaris mean position, taking account of precession and proper motion, will reach a maximum declination of plus 89 degrees 32, 23, which translates to 1657 or 0 0.4603 degrees from the celestial north pole in February 2102 its maximum apparent declination taking account of nutation and aberration will be plus 89 degrees 32 50.62 which is 1629 or 0.4526 degrees from the celestial north pole on the 24th of March 2100 precession will next point the north celestial pole at stars in the northern constellation Cepheus the pole will drift to space equidistant between Polaris and Gamma Cephei Array by 3000 AD, with Ere reaching its closest alignment with the northern celestial pole around 4200 AD. Iota Cephe and Beta Cephe will stand on either side of the northern celestial pole sometime around 5200 AD, before moving to closer alignment with the brighter star Alpha Cephe. 
around 7500 AD precession will then point the North Celestial Pole at stars in the northern constellation Cygnus. Like Beta Ursae Minoris during the first millennium BC, the bright star closest to the celestial pole in the 10th millennium AD, first magnitude Deneb, will be a distant 7 degrees from the pole, never close enough to be taken as marking the pole, while third magnitude Delta Cygna will be a more helpful pole star, at a distance of 3 degrees from celestial north, around 11,500 AD. Precession will then point the North Celestial Pole nearer the constellation Lyra, where the second brightest star in the Northern Celestial Hemisphere, Vega, will be a pole star around 13,700 AD, though at a distance of 5 degrees from Celestial North, precession will eventually point the North Celestial Pole nearer the stars in the constellation Hercules, pointing towards Tau Hercules around 18,400 AD. The celestial pole will then return to the stars in constellation Draco, Thuban, mentioned above before returning to the current constellation, Ursa Minor. When Polaris becomes the North Star again around 27,800 AD, due to its proper motion it then will be farther away from the pole than it is now, while in 23,600 BC it was closer to the pole. Over the course of Earth's 26,000 year axial precession cycle, a series of bright naked eye stars an apparent magnitude up to plus 6, a full Moon as minus 12. 9 in the Northern Hemisphere will hold the transitory title of North Star. While other stars might line up with the North Celestial Pole during the 26,000 year cycle, they do not necessarily meet the naked eye limit needed to serve as a useful indicator of North to an Earth based observer, resulting in periods of time during the cycle when there is no clearly defined North Star. There will also be periods during the cycle when bright stars give only an approximate guide to «north», as they may be greater than 5 degrees of angular diameter removed from direct alignment with the north celestial pole. The 26,000-year cycle of north stars, starting with the current star, with stars that will be «near north», Indicators when no North Star exists during the cycle, including each star's average brightness and closest alignment to the North Celestial Pole during the cycle. <laughs> Southern Pole Star, South star. Currently, there is no south star as useful as Polaris. Sigma Octantis is the closest naked eye star to the south celestial pole, but at apparent magnitude 5.45 it is barely visible on a clear night, making it unusable for navigational purposes. It is a yellow giant 275 light years from Earth. Its angular separation from the pole is about 1 degree as of 2000. The Southern Cross constellation functions as an approximate southern pole constellation by pointing to where a southern pole star would be. At the equator, it is possible to see both Polaris and the Southern Cross. The celestial south pole is moving toward the Southern Cross, which has pointed to the south pole for the last 2,000 years or so. As a consequence, the constellation is no longer visible from subtropical northern latitudes, as it was in the time of the ancient Greeks. Around 200 BC, the star Beta Hydri was the nearest bright star to the celestial south pole. 
Around 2800 BC, Akernar was only 8 degrees from the South Pole. In the next 7,500 years, the South Celestial Pole will pass close to the stars Gamma Chameleontis AD, I Carina, Omega Carina AD, Upsilon Carina, Iota Carina Aspidisc, AD, and Delta Valorum Alsafina, AD. From the 80th to the 90th centuries, the South Celestial Pole will travel through the False Cross. Around 14,000 AD, when Vega is only 4 degrees from the North Pole, Canopus will be only 8 degrees from the South Pole and thus circumpolar on the latitude of Bali 8 degrees south. .Sirius will take its turn as the South Pole star in the year 66,270 AD. In fact, Sirius will come to within 1.6 degree of the South Celestial Pole in 66,270 AD. Later, in the year 93,830 AD, Sirius will miss aligning with the South Celestial Pole by only 2.3 degrees. Other planets Pole stars of other planets are defined analogously, they are stars brighter than sixth magnitude, i.e., visible to the naked eye under ideal conditions that most closely coincide with the projection of the planet's axis of rotation onto the celestial sphere. Different planets have different pole stars because their axes are oriented differently. See poles of astronomical bodies. Alpha Pictoris is the south pole star of Mercury while Omicron Draconis is the north star. 42 Draconis is the closest star to the north pole of Venus. Eta Doradus is the closest to the South Pole. Note, the IAU uses the right-hand rule to define a positive pole for the purpose of determining orientation. Using this convention, Venus is tilted 177 degrees upside down. The lunar south pole star is Delta Doradus, and the north pole star Omicron Draconis. Kappa Valorum is only a couple of degrees from the south celestial pole of Mars. The top two stars in the Northern Cross, Sodor and Deneb, point to the north celestial pole of Mars. The north pole of Jupiter is a little over 2 degrees away from Zeta Draconis, while its south pole is about 2 degrees north of Delta Doradus. Delta Octantis is the south pole star of Saturn. Its north pole is in the far northern region of Cepheus, about 6 degrees from Polaris. Eta Ophiuchi is the north pole star of Uranus, and 15 Orionis is its south pole star. The north pole of Neptune points to a spot midway between Gamma and Delta Cygna. Its south pole star is Gamma Valorum. See also Astronomy on Mars Hashtag Celestial Poles and Ecliptic Celestial Equator Celestial Navigation Circumpolar Star Myokin Bosatsu